Hello, silly bakers. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Nini and I love to create healthy treats. My focus is high protein, high fiber, and lots of great healthy fats. This week, uh, we're focusing on fruit recipes. And today's recipe is a strawberry gluten-free cobbler. Um, I have to say, this is probably one of my top 10 favorite recipes to make uh, and eat. Um, it is incredibly easy. It is incredibly versatile. You can change up your fruit. You can change up your sugar. Um, it is something that will feed approximately nine people. So great for, um, you know, small gathering. Uh, it refrigerates beautifully. It's incredible cold. It's great warm. You can serve it with ice cream. You can serve it with whipped cream. It's just one of those recipes that you need to have, um, especially when you need a quick dessert to make. So this time I chose to do strawberries. I normally make it with peaches, but um, this time this for me um, really hit the spot because I have a soft spot for a strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake so much. And this reminded me of that. And um, it just took a lot less time to make. Um, the, um, the biscuit portion or the cobbler portion is made with almond flour and some butter and some eggs um, and not a lot of sugar. There's not a lot of sugar in this recipe, which is great. And you can customize the sugar. You can use whatever sugar you like. You can use um, monk fruit sweetener. You can use uh, coconut sugar. You can use maple syrup. You can use honey, whatever you like. Also too, with the regards to the fruit, um, you have to add about a quarter cup of sugar. If the fruit is really, really sweet, you can cut that sugar in half. Just do about two tablespoons. Um, and again, just make this according to your taste. Um, it'll still turn out beautifully, I can guarantee you. So why don't we make a gluten-free strawberry cobbler? You wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and you want to grease a nine by nine ceramic dish. You can also use a ceramic pie plate if that uh, is what you have. This is two pounds of strawberries. So with regards to cutting the strawberries, the larger ones you want a quarter and the smaller ones you want to cut in half. Cut your strawberries directly into your ceramic dish. And now we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. Again, if your strawberries are very sweet, you can cut that to two tablespoons. And we have to add lemon juice. Lemon juice will prevent these strawberries from turning. Um, so it'll keep this really beautiful red vibrant color. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract, good quality vanilla extract. And we just want to mix everything through until it's combined. Now we're going to add some cornstarch. This will help the juices from the strawberries thicken and it will make it a lot easier uh, to slice through the cobbler once it's cooled. You want to mix that cornstarch through the strawberries until the cornstarch disappears. Now the fruit portion is done, so let's get to making the cobbler. We wanna grab a large bowl and we wanna add two cups of almond flour. We're gonna add some baking powder, two teaspoons. This will help the biscuit portion of the cobbler puff up in the oven. We're going to add a little salt and sugar. This is just under a half a cup, and I'm using a raw cane sugar. Now we're just gonna whisk everything through, making sure that the baking powder is incorporated. Now it's time to add our cubed butter. 
the butter, the eggs, and the milk in the recipe should be cold, and this will help set the perfect texture for that biscuit. What I like to do with the butter is actually just smash it and just create these butter sheets uh, amongst the mixture. And you're just gonna do that throughout. This is also helping um, with hydrating the almond flour as well. Don't worry about this being perfect. If you leave a couple of chunks of butter in there that are a little larger, it's not the end of the world. Next, we're gonna whisk in a separate bowl two large eggs. And then we're going to incorporate that in the almond flour and butter mixture. Now, it's gonna sound strange, but I do actually like to use a fork. And the reason for that is because the metal is cold and it'll help all the ingredients stay cold. So we're just going to mix the egg through until it's just combined. This is not gonna completely hydrate everything. The, the milk will help with that. The recipe calls for one quarter cup of milk, but there are times that I don't use the full amount. So I start with a tablespoon and then just go from there. And again, we are just trying to create um, a, a wet sticky dough, but not too wet and not too sticky. We're gonna add a little more milk. I'm using a plant-based milk here. You can use whatever milk you like. We don't wanna see any almond flour. Once you get to that, you should be good. So this mixture looks wet enough and sticky enough for me. As you can see, it's a little sticky and you can see that it's actually quite moist. So we're gonna stop there. I like to add my ceramic dish to a baking tray because we're working with a lot of fruit. We wanna just make sure that we're not spilling anything into our oven. And now using an ice cream scoop, which is one of my favorite tools, we're going to scoop nine biscuits on top of the strawberries. And this is a great way to portion out your um, cobbler as well. I can still see chunks of butter in that dough, which just shows me that uh, we're going to have this really beautiful, flaky uh, type of biscuit on top of the cup. Using the back of the ice cream scoop, I just like to press down uh, the cobbler a little. Remember, there is baking powder in the mixture, so it is going to puff up and spread out a little in the oven. And that's it. Next and final step is a little sugar on top of the biscuits. And this is gonna give you that really amazing crunch element. This is um, two tablespoons, but you can use one, one and a half tablespoons, whatever you like. I used about a one and a half here. We're going to bake this cobbler at 400 for approximately 40 to 45 minutes. Now, after the 15 to 20 minute mark, it's very important that you add a piece of foil on top because the cobbler will burn if you don't. After the 40 minute mark, this is your strawberry cobbler. Enjoy our gluten-free strawberry cobbler with your favorite vanilla ice cream or your favorite whip topping. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel for more healthy treats. If you do try the strawberry cobbler, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, happy baking.